Guys, are you ready for your next comedian? Please welcome to the stage, Brian Millward. Oh, great. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Hi. Hi. How's your years going by so far? So far by? Yeah, good? Good? Fast? All right. How about you? Pretty good. Pretty good? Good, good. I think mine's going well so far. You know? Like, I feel like this is really my year. Or at least that's what Breakbart News is telling me, so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I'm excited, I'm excited because actually I'm turning 27 this year, Aww. which I think is pretty exciting. Like, that was so sweet. You're like, that cherub is turning 27? Yes, thank you. Yeah, people always get weirded out when I tell them like what age I am because they're like, oh my God, Brian, what is your secret? And like, what are you doing? To keep that youthful glow. Acne. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it turns out having adult acne doesn't make you look any more like an adult, unfortunately. Um, funny enough though, I actually have perfectly straight teeth. I actually just got these braces so that way it would match my skin. Because as you ladies, you've got to accessorize correctly for your body type and this mess, right? That's what you have to do. <laughs> Thing is though, is like I know that the braces make me look younger. Um, what I didn't realize is that even without the braces, I give off a very strong, like Nickelodeon Junior vibe. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like last summer, I was actually asked to do a deep end swim test at a YMCA pool. <laughs> which for those of you who don't remember your childhood, is a mandatory test for anyone under the age of 14. Um, the worst part about that experience was that they didn't believe me and I still had to do the frickin' test. I got to swim the length of that pool while a birthday party of fourth graders just getting cut out from the side waiting for their turn. So humiliating. <laughs> And the worst part is, like, I can't even complain about looking young because that's what everyone wants. Like, the real housewives spend thousands of dollars just to look like me. You know? So every time I try to bring it up with my friends, they're like, oh, no, oh, no, Brian. You're, you, you're so lucky. You're so lucky. Because it's everything's going to work out for you when you're 60. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sorry, can you paint me that picture? Because the way I see it is I wake up a sprightly 65-year-old, you know? I've got just a stunning early 40-year-old face and torso with just a useless 65-year-old dick. Just, Often in the wind, you know? <laughs> yeah, what do you do? What a future, you know? Because I think, I think ladies, we can all agree that if we were asked to put together our dream man, Obvi, it'd be a John Stamos face and body, <laughs> and then just a juicy Bernie Sanders spread. You know? <laughs> Follow his socialism. Oh, 24 7. I love it. Mm. I'm also single, guys. But no, sir. I see. No. Maybe after a no. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you. But no, I'm not looking to hook up right now. Um, mostly because I just got my braces tightened a couple days ago. So. The only thing I am sucking on is just one of those bar straws to talk to each other, you know? Uh, oh, but don't worry, sir, because I can still sit over a bar stool any day of the week. I don't know. I guess I just love interior design so much I turned into a human slipcover. You know what's so crazy though? Do you know what the craziest part about it is? I'm actually, 
I'm actually getting hit on more now with the braces than before without them. Like, guys, I am fucking crushing it with the baby boomer demographic. Oh my god. Oh, yes. Like, no, I don't think you guys understand. Like, I'm getting right swiped by all the Woody Allens of Toronto. Just bam, bam, bam. Like, oh. <laughs> guys, guys, I feel like you're st you're not getting it. <laughs> like I am getting so much grandpa dick right now <laughs> that I actually have a bowl of Werther's original caramel <laughs> shoes on my bedside table. <laughs> right afterwards. They love they love it. It's a classic candy. They love it. Oh. So I'm also gay. <laughs> oh, that came across earlier? Okay, just making sure, just making sure they're all on the same way. But the thing is, I actually came out at a pretty young age. I came out, I think, at grade seven, and, which I was young, I think, I think I saw the calendar or something. And, but I told a guy this, and he freaked out. He was like, oh my god, Brian, you had sex in grade seven? that you don't have to be sexually active in order to understand your sexual preference, right? Yeah? And anyways, my papa was all the man I knew back in those days. Am I right, guys? <laughs> oh, if you don't remember how the game went, here, I'll just do it for you. One like this. Bop it, twist it, pull it, flick it, lick it, stick it, sniff it, pass it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening to the Ramble!